Hi, we're on here from the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 5 p.m. on Wednesday here with the latest on Hurricane Aaron. Uh, now beginning to make its closest point of approach to the coast of North Carolina here in the next uh, 6 to 12 hours. Currently, the center of Aaron is within about 300 miles south-southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Now moving due north at about 14 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. But just from the satellite image, you can just see how big the sheer size of Aaron is with tropical storm winds extending out more than 250 miles away from the center, starting to see those outer rain bands move in along uh, just offshore of the coast of North Carolina where conditions are going to quickly deteriorate uh, as we go through the next several hours and into the overnight. Um, just a reminder though that we have this broad risk of dangerous surf and rip current conditions along the entire U.S. coast because of the large size of Aaron all the way from Florida up through New England. It is not going to be safe to be in the ocean beaches along the U.S. East Coast uh, for much of the rest of the week. So please heed those warning flags and stay out of the ocean if it does not appear safe. We're going to zoom in here on the threat for storm surge here in eastern North Carolina along the Outer Banks from Cape Lookout to Duck. Uh, this uh, ocean side storm surge is going to really kick in here at the high time of the next high tide, which is going to start uh, between 6 and 630 along the Atlantic coast here. But over the sev next several tide cycles, we're going to see you know, very high water levels, damaging wave action along the, uh, the ocean side of the Outer Banks uh, with a two to four feet of inundation expected within these areas, the potential for dune breaches and overwashes, roads being washed out, and then also the potential for sound side flooding, especially in the southern part of Pamlico Sound uh, from tonight into Thursday with a northeast to north wind in those areas. So you should be in your safe place now here along the Outer Banks of North Carolina through tonight and through much of the day on Thursday. I do want to broaden out the risk, though, again, with those high surface and uh, wave conditions affecting much of the U.S. East Coast. We are going to see some coastal inundation everywhere you see here in blue from northern South Carolina up through the southern Chesapeake Bay along the Delmarva Peninsula and up into uh, New, the New Jersey coastline where we could see one to three feet of inundation above ground level and some coastal flooding in these areas. And on the wind front, we have a tropical storm warning in effect from Beaufort Inlet all the way up to uh, Chincoteague, Virginia, including the Virginia Beach area, uh, the, uh, much of the, all of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We are going to expect to see those tropical storm conditions, especially here in North Carolina, begin uh, during the next uh, few hours and into the overnight hours tonight. So please uh, be safe uh, through the rest of the week when it comes to Aaron, again, affecting coastal areas along much of the U.S. East Coast. Uh, stay tuned for more information on Aaron here from the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov. You can get the latest information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.